Hi, I'm Angie and we're going to make a popcorn caramel today with a ganache. Um, and we are using this popcorn. Um, it's Angie's popcorn. That's why we're going to use it. Um, I'm usually not craving popcorn, so I have no idea if this is any good. Um, but it only has um, sea salt, so no caramel. So we're making the caramel um, on our own. And um, I thought if it is a sea salt popcorn, then maybe um, we don't add any salt um, at any stage in our uh, ganache or in our caramel, just to make sure it's not getting too salty. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be probably more like a salty caramel popcorn filling. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. Um, is there anything else to say? I don't think so, but I'm going the easy route. I'm using a microwavable popcorn and um, yeah, let's just do it. Let's go. I'm starting with making popcorn. And now we need to let those cool down. Next thing is making our caramel sauce. So here I have a tablespoon of glucose syrup, um, yeah, just to help um, preventing crystallization of the sugar. And I let this simmer for a couple of seconds and then I'm adding half a cup of sugar. And now we need to wait until all the sugar here has melted and our caramel starts to form. We're almost there, so this means in a couple of seconds we will add two tablespoons of butter to our mix and then we will pour the whole caramel over our popcorn and I have two handful of popcorn here. Let it melt. And here's our caramel sauce. Um, I will pour this over our popcorn now. Probably not all of it, but maybe half, but I'll show you in a second. Here's our popcorn with the caramel sauce. Yeah, let's just cool it down. And then we can start um, yeah, filling our bonbons. And for that, I've already prepared uh, yeah, my molds and used some fun colors here. And I also have some leftover ganache. Um, so I just use a very regular classic ganache one-to-one, -one, which means, um, yeah, one part chocolate, one part cream. And um, yeah, we will pipe this in and then we add our popcorn. I'm ready to pipe. Um, my ganache is a little bit more firm than I would have wanted to. But well, here we are. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay, it is too big. Wait, to make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, this is looking better. Okay, I would say the hardest part was um, yeah, finding a good piece of popcorn that fits into the chocolate and so it doesn't stick out, but I think we made it. Looking good. All right, um, everything that is left is um, yeah, tempering chocolate at the last layer and then we can release them. Let's take a look at them. Cute, cute, cute. And what I wanted to mention, but maybe I have a better one to show you. Yeah, this one is better. Um, you see all of those um, little uh, bumps here? And, and so that's part of the popcorn. So next time I really need to make sure um, that I um, cut the popcorn a little bit smaller so they fit completely into um, my chocolate mold. All right, um, yeah, let's cut one. Not bad, huh? So if we would give it another 12 hours, uh, the ganache would be um, a little bit more set as well. But I like it. Let's give it a try. So I would say, if you like popcorn, that's your thing. The flavor of my ganache is pretty strong, um, so you don't get a lot of the popcorn flavor. But it's really um, a fun texture and something to play with. But this is a huge success. It is really, really good. Yeah, give them a try. 
Thanks so much for watching. Um, as always, if you have questions, leave them down in the comments below or send me a DM on Instagram at chocolate spiel. And that's all from me today. Have a good one. Bye.